Hi, you guys. P Valley, season two, episode eight, the death drop. Okay, I'm gonna start with um Uncle Clifford and Mur- Lil Murder. Uncle Clifford is giving his boo um right. He getting him right with a haircut. At the same time, Murder is on hold with the hospital trying to check up on grandmother. And he wants Clifford to focus on getting his shit right, okay? Because he, he got somewhere to be. Uncle Clifford asked him, so where are you going at that you need to look so good? And Murder said, nowhere. Uncle Clifford said, LaMarcus, you have a lot of secrets. Um, Murder like, I thought that we was past all that. Uncle Clifford said, just because you gave me uh, some olive branch booty doesn't mean shit, sir. Murder like, no, nah, it was more than olive branch. Um, I don't know where you've been as to say because they had unprotected sex that he was giving himself a piece of him. So it, that should mean to Uncle Clifford that he don't have to worry about anything when it comes to murder. Child, please. Um, so they went back and forth about where each other been at. And murder tells Uncle Clifford, well, just know that if I was with someone, I was protected. Was you? Now, we know that little murder is so secretive because of Big T's suicide. And on top of that, he has yet to bury Big T. He's still on edge and sensitive about that. Uncle Clifford, he gets off the phone with the hospital and murder asks him, so where you going at? Uncle Clifford says, somewhere. And see, this said be that unnecessary bullshit. Ineffective communication. I still can't understand why Lil Murder just won't tell Uncle Clifford, like, you know, my homeboy died and I'm dealing with that. We give Uncle Clifford a little bit more understanding. Lil Murder, he makes it down to the morgue to finalize the arrangements for Big Teak. And Murder asks, is Wody, you not tired of being around dead people? Are you deaf itself? And Wody, like, no, I, I'm. I'm good. I'm, I know death intimately. And Rome, he was asking for that shit. So it all balanced out. Rome was a rapist and a hater. He deserved it. All Wody know is that Lil Homicide wasn't going to die that day. He wasn't going to be the one. And Wody asks him, so you asked me about Rome. What's up with this tape? What's on that video? Murder explains that he was 15 years old and he had to do what he had to do in order to maintain his household and keep his mother happy and shit like that. So I'm confused. Is it a sex tape or is it drug activity? Because I'm very confused about this. Lil Murder, he been thinking he, and he asks Rome, so what if Rome already sent the tape before you offed him? And Wody said, well, if that's the case, I'll handle that too. Murder asks him, so why are you going so hard for me? And Wody like, why not you? I mean, one of us got to make it out the mud. My opinion, Wody intentions are are genuine. Um, we all see haters, how they do people, killing people that they grew up with, ha- killing people just because they haters. Wody is that type that you see, you see, we rarely talk about. But they do exist, people in the hood that will... Um, make sure that person that um, future is paved that they make it they make it to where they need to be successful and things like that so I really think Wody is genuine about how he protects Lil Murder. Sean she meets up with Haley and she plans on leaving Dirk this time she gives Haley all the vital records to get her and the kids passport and I'm like girl you gonna leave the country okay the plan is for Keyshawn. They they come up with a plan. Haley wants um, Keyshawn to headline down at the paint, so she is to go home and convince Dirk that um, she's going to have a big night and give him all the money that she make off the floor. And Keyshawn is going to keep all the door money and escape that night. Keyshawn, she goes home to to Derek. Derek comes in with some Christian Lord buttons. Now I bet you he paid that with Keyshawn's money tries them on and they doesn't fit Keyshawn is no longer his doll like her stepmother was this describing in episode five so Derek realizes this and he <laughs> is acting a damn fool hitting himself in the head crying talking about he can never do shit right so this is her opportunity to milk him okay she tells um dark is like what can i do to make you happy and Keyshawn says she want to go dance at the pink and he's like no bad things happen down there Keyshawn tells him like 
but that's what makes me happy and Derek is like okay and Keyshawn is like sucker Sadie she runs into Maine Maine fine ass mm -mm 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 -mm. he got out on early release because of the COVID issues and really they didn't even though he his box was at the robbery scene he don't fit the description so you know they kind of like dropped it because of that so he's back out and him and Mercedes, they made plans to see one another lady later at um, his little celebration or whatever. And I'm like, damn, they, they throwing you a celebration for you being locked up for five months. <laughs> now, Mercedes, she's been practicing this and it's been an epic fail. Uncle Clip tells her that it's all in her head and to try harder. And Mercedes tell him, look, this pink problem isn't in your head. It's in your hands. So if I need to try harder, so do you pink re 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 grand opening is coming up and all the um headlining girls are there that's whisper roulette and uncle clifford's bottom bitch mercedes Haley, she's talking about she wants to see mercedes routine mercedes routine was a epic fail but that's okay because Haley, she brings in Miss Mississippi. Jaws are on the floor. Whisper and Roulette, they're fans of Miss Mississippi. They done um, brought her lashes and they wearing her lashes and shit. And um, Roulette tells her that she know how to do a, a move because of Miss Mississippi. Haley and Uncle Clifford, they are going back and forth so loud. <laughs> Keyshawn said, they always argue like this. And the girls are like, mm-hmm. Lady, she come back there and she's like, hey, you back, huh? Mississippi like, yeah, yep. My locker gone. And Mercedes said, bitch, you got some nerve asking me that. Yeah, your locker's still empty. It's, it's, it's there. And your vanity is too. You know that Uncle Clifford loved him some Miss Mississippi. That's his baby. Even though she broke the rules and went against family, she's kind of still family. And to Mercedes, too. Um, both Mercedes and Keyshawn thought they were both done with the pink. One had a dream of opening up a dance studio. And Keyshawn, she was supposed to be a famous stripper touring the world, getting that money. And now because of the circumstances that they came against that's out of their control, they find themselves right back at the pink. There's no place like home, and the both agreed. Uncle Clifford then headed up to here with Autumn. I'm sure he felt like that she should have told him about Keyshawn. Autumn is doing things that going over his rules and shit, going over top of him with the rules that he set. He's taking some of his shit out there. He goes in his car and he starts crying. His mother appears in the rear view mirror, mirror, and she tells Clifford, Go on and cry if you need to cry. But remember, don't don't just cry. Get even. I don't know how Uncle Clifford is going to get rid of Haley, but he got to do something, very much something. Back inside, the ladies are still practicing. Mercedes is leading with the fact that she is the bottom bitch and not allowing herself to get out of her head about that night with Martavius. It's not allowing her to perform the way she we know that she can. And look at the youngins over here. They over here laughing at Mercedes talking about she passed her prime. Rula is trying to convince Whisper to link up with Trick Daddy and make that easy money so she won't end up like looking like a 2001 Mercedes with no AC. I'm like the shade. Whisper tell her, look, I've been thinking about it. But she needs to ask the universe. So she pulls out her gem on the chain. And Roulette just snatches her chain like, should Whispers get this easy money? Yes, yes. <laughs> Haley done seen enough bullshit from Mercedes. Haley tells her, it's a no for me. You're not ready, Mercedes. Mercedes was about to dig in that ass, but she's getting a phone call from Terrica. And she needed to leave immediately. Terrica goes on home to... Um, I'm sorry, Mercedes go on home to Terrica and Shao is there. Shao found out about Terrica's abortion. Shao was like, how could you take her without a guardian? Your family may be the type that throw away their decisions, but we not the type. We own up to ours. Mercedes asks her, why do you think that she came to me in the first place? Shao said, well, if I'm fucking recklessly, you'll be my first choice too. Mercedes said, because your ass was passed the fuck out, drunk bitch. And Tarika's like, Mama. So both of them answer, What? 
She was like, oh, no, you ain't going to do this mama shit. You was there for her once out of 14 years. And I've been there the entire time. Sadie's like, yeah, the entire time, except for when she needed you the most. The problem is that she thinks she's better than Mercedes because... Um, Mercedes was that fast ass little girl A little stripper hoe Whose baby she raised him But show you're a drunk bitch So now what So yes generational cycles and curses Are real But show she got pregnant In, on, in your care <laughs> And furthermore Any teenager from any background That's sexually active Whether they come from a single parent uh, Household or a parent, a, uh, a household where both of the parents are married, an orphan, a perfect family. If they're fucking, they are at risk of getting pregnant. Period. My thing is, don't try to make this Mercedes fault. That was the type of person that will count you out. And if that person make it and surpass their odds stacked against them, she will always remind them of their past. Yeah, that's what I think uh, Shell is. Mercedes is 2022. It's time to go to court and get your baby back. The courts may look at your profession as just that, a profession. It's a lot of strippers out here that's that take care of their children every single day and raise them right. Because she grabs Shao and tells them that she's gonna take Shao home. And Mercedes is like, hell no, let fuck that drunk bitch. And Terrica's like, no, I'm gonna take her home. I can drive because you taught me how to drive. We'll be fine. This is just a sad situation. Both of them has a strong amount of love for Tarika. And um, Tarika is at her rebellion stage. And this this is it. The, the time when they need to be coming together the most right now. Um, Shell was in her head. And, and, you know, Mercedes is trying to do right. It's just a mess murder he makes me mad because i can't with these secretive ass niggas i just cannot that shit itches my asshole uncle clifford get this nigga fresh for a funeral and you can even just say that you know just say that <laughs> i understand that little murder might not it be awkward for little murder to tell him everything about him and big t but that's all he had to say is look i'm going to my homeboy funeral Anyway, murder, he put T T Big Teak away really nice. But what I can't understand is why they bury Big Teak with all them damn gold chains. Hood funeral, child. After the burial, this OG, he shows murder this video of Pico <gasps> talking shit on social media, talking about how he murked Big Teak. You do anything for clout. <laughs> we know how Big Teak died. But HVH, they can't have Co out here talking reckless on my, how he murked him. Uh-uh. Lil' Murder, he gotta go handle that. Andre was called out by the Chuckalika of Truth Association. They did a commercial about Andre's father being in prison for murder. And I don't understand why Andre couldn't just come out and say that. I mean, shit. Uh, he's not paying for the sins of his father. I'm sorry. <laughs> Corbin is hot okay Andre questions him and he's like damn you all talking about me but what about your father Corbin tells him look until you funding project my projects don't ask me shit about my father child they also did one on Patrice Patrice decided to <laughs> not be a victim of her past okay Patrice said I told everyone I was a hoe and in my past, I sucked a lot of dicks. I fucked a lot of tricks and I slapped a lot of motherfuckers. And Lord knows I did my share of check fraud. Because this city wouldn't, uh, they didn't give me another option. And she said, that's why I'm running for mayor. So um, no one else have to do those type of sins. Vote for what buying for mayor. And he goes over there to see his brother because he's behind the Chuckalisa of truth. Wayne thing is, Corbin, why are you funding Andre's race? <laughs> Just to prove that your your, your white side, your just to prove that you're valuable to your white side. That's it. Wayne tells Corbin, "Look, you can do this um, tick for tech bullshit all you want, but if the casino doesn't work out, it'll be all your fault." Ellie, she goes to see Georgie um, about that five million dollars offer to tell her, "Thanks, but no thanks." Haley wants her ten million, and Georgie thing is, well, look at it like this uh whoopon she may win that casino referment referendum and that means that um 
I I have the means to hold out and wait for the next election. You don't. Five million is my final answer. And if you walk away from this, you 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 won't have that offer again. You'll have to wait till election day. And by that time, it won't be shit. It pro- the offer ain't gonna be the shit. Like girl, are you folding or holding? Haley said, you know what? I see you at the polls. We ain't oh remember that from color purple. <laughs> Uncle Clifford the trip. He went up there to see Corbin. And Uncle Clifford tells Corbin, look, an enemy of my enemy is a bitch that I can link up with. He tells Corbin that Patrice is in a problem. Just offer her some cash. Goes on to tell Corbin, look, all your life, no matter the fact that you have everything that you possibly can need and want, you still try to prove yourself that you have power. That's the very reason you're back backing up that great value obama just to prove your power and in reality you have all the power that you need Corbin asks clifford do you know how it feels to have the world turn their, their nose up at you and uncle clifford said yes half nigga i do but i also know what i'll never be corbin does swim against the tide when he doesn't have to he's rich he he can easily pave his own lane yet it's not good enough he still wants to that recognition and i think mostly from his white side uncle clifford tells him sometimes you have to just if the water won't come to you you're gonna have to bring the water to you andre is still going through the motions about tea that was dropped up on him about his father you see that Haley had donated 10 g's to his campaign she wants him to win because if he does win, she can use him for her benefit when it comes to her real estate. That's my opinion. She pops up. Not only that, she pops up with some coin liquor in her hand. So she, uh, Andre lets her in. He over there venting about his father's past and everything and how it fucked him up in present time. And his dream of becoming mayor is over. Haley like, no, nah, you can't punk out now. You gonna let these white boys bully you? Don't prove your mis- mistress wrong. And I'm like, Haley, you was not a mistress. You was a submissive the last time. Speaking of that time when she came in and broke in Andre house and followed his every command. That makes you a submissive, not a mistress. Andre like, yeah, I've been thinking about that night. It was memorable. Um, Lakeisha was fun, but I wanted to wake up to Haley. He tells him, well, I can't give you Haley, but I can give you Autumn. And this gives her an idea. She hits up uh, Brazil and tells Brazil to grab extra extra and meet up with her. I wonder what that's going to be about. And I wonder if she's going to throw Andre a fundraiser at the paint. That will be some bullshit. Oh, Uncle Cliffy will go to slap the fuck off. Because, bitch, you going to bring this person that's trying to take the pink away from me up here to make some money? Mm-mm. Hell no. Patrice, she's up there having church via social media. And she gets a $10,000 uh, donation from Burr Rabbit or something like that. And the message um, was, catch me outside. So, at, Patrice goes outside and um she sees corbin now patrice isn't going to entertain the the thought of stepping out of the race corbin tells her look is that what is that the pulpit you want to be standing on the heart of the man plans his own way but the lord established her steps amen and he gives her a brick of cash just to think about you stepping out the race what patrice is going to do she's going to come back to him with a fee to buy her ass out because she's all about her damn money murder runs into pico <laughs> murder say it tells him like yo you up here claiming to be god when you ain't pico denying it like no i ain't do nothing he was like yeah but you claiming a body without um claiming the weight that comes along with it pico is uh begging for his life saying he got a son and Lil Murder like, oh yeah, you do? He like, well, I'm going to tell him that his daddy love him. And he kills Pico. And I'm like, what the fuck? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Now, I done told y'all I'm confused. Does Pico has a video? Um, that video that Ron was speaking of looming over Murder's head? I think he does because I think when he was down in Jackson on tour, that's what he was talking about. But I'm not sure. And neither is 
little murder. It's no evidence that he has it. So I'm like, why is he doing that? Um, and if he do have evidence of him, you know, with with a man or whatever, I'm like, that's not right to kill him over because you can't uh, confront with your sexuality murder. That's not right. I didn't like that. We know for sure that Pico wasn't the one that killed uh big t also murder you know that as well mercedes is coming home and the block is lit for the celebration for main fine ass <laughs> main clears the path for mercedes to get through next thing his boys come through um and made the announcement that pico just got murked main is about to roll with the crew mercedes holds him like hold up like chill out they you the one with the monitor box on um you don't need to be getting up tied up in that dumb shit like every beast he needs his beauty to calm him down so he's like yeah you right he goes over to mercedes house so mercedes basically told me what she did to martavius without telling him the exact details so man being a street nigga that he is he gets it he's like look i'm sorry that i couldn't be there for you that night but it's okay you had to do what you had to do ladies ex is main does the nightmares ever stop and how do you to cope with this main tells her like nah and just pray that something positive comes in your life to make up for it and that's real talk it's a lot it's a lot to take someone's life even in self-defense and mercedes she has to nurture her mental so she can get back right man he touching on mercedes trying to take it there and mercedes pulled back she's like no i'm not looking for that right now so man he's like i hope you find what you're looking for and he gets up and he leaves man ass would have been my pony for the night child mm -mm -mm. clifford wants to visit his mom's grave and he feels because he hasn't been coming to visit her grave beulah decides to come to visit them that's why he getting all these signs and visions of her and Clifford tells her, look, I haven't been coming down here because I would have to admit to failing. And um, he's like, I'll come back down here every two weeks. Just don't take Ernestine away from me. And Uncle Clifford is crying. And I am crying because if Grandmother Ernestine died, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's going to break my heart. Whispers finally gave in and took Trick Daddy up on his offer. So Whispers and Ruler, they get a room at the motel. Trick, trick, he comes in and he was thinking that Roulette was just going to go on about her business, leave. Roulette said, nigga, I don't know you and I'm not trying to join in, but I'm going to be right in that bathroom. Okay, cool. Roulette is in the bathroom playing Candy Crush while Trick, trick, he's down there all in Whispers cookie box. Afterwards, he going to throw the money on the floor and it's $200 short. Whispers like, uh-uh, no, you. this is short $200. So with all the commotion, Roulette comes in. He's like, She's like, look, stop playing with her and just pay up the money like you agreed to. Trick is like, fuck that. I was doing all the work and this bitch can't even moan right. So Whispers like, oh, so now you know how to move your tongue. Fool, you lucky that I faked that orgasm. I, I could feel the energy off you. You couldn't please a woman if you tried. Both of the ladies are laughing now. And he gets offended and going to grab whispers by the neck. Roulette, Roulette pulls out her gun and she wants to play a game. Russian Roulette. Okay, that's how she got her name. Trick Trick is spooked now. Roulette, she pulls the trigger on him. He's spared. It doesn't go off. She put the gun to her head, pulls the trigger. It, she's spared whispers is scared shitless now roulette tells whispers take strip that nigga and so whispers she takes off his clothes roulette makes him to get on his knees and she put the guns in his mouth and she make him suck it and then she tells him moan <laughs> roulette like who got the dick sucking lips now like girl you are so you roulette is really offended that you know she was the one with dick sucking lips with these niggas you cannot let them offend you girl like about that mm -mm. one one girl gonna have the dick sucking lips one girl going he gonna want to do this to her he gonna want to do anal with this he gonna want to do this you, you just don't know you cannot take these niggas shit they say and do to heart you just can't you got to be confident and within you he's down there sucking on a gun moaning and shit looking like a fool 
next they next thing um they grabbed his keys and they bolt out the motel room taking off in his car he runs out the uh motel room butt naked he's over the balcony like no not a, don't take my car the lady sped off they laughing roulette takes the car down to duffy's shop and tells him to chop it up and give her the proceeds now i thought duffy drove trucks and sold pills on the side but okay roulette she has duffy in the palm of her hand so he's like okay but he does ask that is someone gonna come back looking for this and roulette like no nah. duffy goes in the car get the uh a registration and he's like not even Terrence and Roulette like nope not even him he's not coming for it Duffy like okay so where should I bring you your money and <laughs> Roulette said down in the valley baby and you know the rest well Roulette Terrence ass will be down in the valley really soon you know that he's a he's a a a, a faithful customer child he's gonna be back down there for his car when he does return i don't know what roulette is gonna do she is wild but she seems like she's a survivor okay I, as she's leaving the shop she's um she looks in her revolver and see that the one bullet is still in there and that bitch that bitch was really loaded i thought it was unloaded because she's just being reckless just pulling the trigger like girl you could have blew your brains out your head and that's where the episode ends. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.